So I got a lot of requests from you guys for me to react to this story called You Can't Break a Broken Heart and this Gotcha Life mini movie is by It's Violet's Movie so I will have the original in the description down below. Now let's go ahead and check out part one, two, and three. <laughs> this way, Daisy. Uh, wait, Daisy, come back. Oh, uh, that way. Uh, oh my gosh, it's just a stupid dog. Relax. That voice. Uh, babe, I can explain. I don't want to hear it. Hmm. We're done. How could you? Uh, I'll get you back. When I came home, I was devastated. I felt betrayed, used, angry, and sad at the same time. Luckily, my best friend Avery was there for me. I'm so sorry about what happened. Don't be, it's not your fault. And besides that, he was the only thing that kept us away from moving to a dorm at our college. Wait, does that mean that? Yes. The next day, we packed our stuff and went to our college. And we did not regret it. Two years later, present day. So, I heard something about a party. I'm not going. Oh, come on. You never go to parties. Yeah, because parties are boring and too much drama. Besides that, we have this big math test in two days. We can study tomorrow. I'm not going. Where's the stupid party anyways? I, uh, Avery? At her dorm room. Oh my gosh, why? But we're like the only ones that haven't thrown a party yet. So? We don't have any friends and it's been two years. And we could also get boyfriends. I already told you, I don't believe in love. Oh, come on. Just because your high school boyfriend was a jerk doesn't mean love doesn't exist. Whatever, you can throw the party. I'll just be studying at the library for the evening. So anyways, did you enjoy your first day here? Well, except for the classes, it was pretty fun, I guess. But I heard something about a party tonight. Zorm 221. I'm Chloe, the hottest girl here and the other purple-haired girl Avery or something. Mason, this is Luke. Luke, this is Mason, the new boy here. I already knew that. Of course you do. Anyways, who's this Chloe girl? Well, like I said, she's the hottest girl here. And she's rejected every single guy that's confessed to her. Why though? I heard something about how she likes someone in this school and that she's waiting for him. What Austin said is not true. He just said that because he has a big crush on her. I did research and her best friend told me that it had something to do with her trashy ex-boyfriend. He probably cheated on her or something. So then someone made a competition for the boys. The first one to let Chloe fall in love with them wins a thousand dollars. I really need that money. I'm definitely gonna win that. Well, good luck, you're gonna lose. And Austin is probably already two steps ahead. We just have to make a plan. I finally cleaned everything. Uh, whoa, <laughs> you're really looking forward to this party, aren't you? Chloe, I'm really sorry. I should have respected that you didn't want this party. Now, it's fine, to be honest. You were right. We never throw parties and it's unfair to you. Just tell me next time. I should really go, though. The party's almost starting. Right. See you later. No, 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 no. It can't be closed. Oh, what do I do now? Where's Carter? We're super early. We're not. It's 8 p.m. and the party started at 8 p.m. No one comes at 8 p.m. That's weird. Everyone comes at 9 or 10. Then why are we here? To look for Chloe, of course. Let's see if you'll have a chance. Where's Chloe? Trust me, she's not interested. Yeah, we know. Excuse me, boys. Hello, Avery. Don't just... No. Oh, come on. She's not here. Well, then where is she? Library. Thanks. Good thinking. What do you mean? You sent him to the library, which is closed today. Wait, what? Wait, don't tell me that. <laughs> I really should be getting home. Wait, is that Austin? What is he doing here? Uh, Chloe! So that's Chloe. The library was closed, so I came here. And besides that, Austin was there. Don't know why. Wait, don't tell me you didn't. I'm sorry. I hate that boy. I thought you liked him. What? Why would you think that? <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna go get some air. I'll be right back. Where is she? Uh, library? Why are you lying to me? You're gonna leave. I'm not. One minute earlier? I think we're safe. So? I'm in my closet with a stranger. Nothing special. I'm bad at this. Trust me, I'm worse. Oh, 
I'm tired. It's literally 9 p.m. It's been a long day. I hope this helps. It does. Thank you. What's going on? Uh, uh. <laughs> well, well, well. You're Austin, aren't you? The new boy already knows my name. I guess I'm quite popular then. Now move, you're in my way. You know I'm not going to. Okay then, outside, now. Dude, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm just asking you to leave her alone because you're making her uncomfortable. Hmm. <laughs> What? Mason won! Mason won the fight! But Austin didn't look hurt at all! Maybe he just left. He didn't. Okay, yeah, you're right. Wait, did Austin leave just like that? Did you guys fight? Nah, he just left. <laughs> I was right! No, 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 you agreed later on. Uh, blah, 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 Five hours later? It's getting a little late. Maybe we should go home. The doors are probably closed, though. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. You guys can stay here. It's not a big deal. That night? Everyone was sleeping, except for one person. I have to stop thinking about that Austin boy. He's not in my way between me and those $1,000 anymore. I can't fall in love with her. She will just break my heart, just like Sarah. I'm just doing it for the money to save my mom. Nothing else. Ooh. Where are the boys? I don't know, gone, I guess. Probably at school because we're pretty late. Well, then why are we still here then? You still have to eat. No, I don't. Ah! Ah! The teacher isn't even here, but good try. My legs don't work anymore. Hmm. Walking is not that hard, you know. Hush, you're not the one who just ran in heels for so long. Why would you do that? Because you didn't wake me up. You just left without saying anything. Uh, I feel like I'm dead. Oh, come on. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry for being late. Let's begin. One hour later. Finally, class is over. Now we can finally finish what happened last night. Mason. Last night was a mistake. What do you mean? I'm sorry. See how the tables have turned. Oh, shut up. She doesn't like you, dude. She did the exact same thing to me. Hmm. I hate this feeling. I don't even like her. What am I doing? <sighs> You ruined all your chances, dude. Yeah, you really screwed up. You weren't even there. Trust me, he knows. I didn't lose yet. Okay, Austin 2.0. Uh, uh, you guys are not gonna like this. I know, he just posted that to show me he won. You don't know that, dude. The caption says, game on. Hey, Carter. So, how are you guys? Where? Um, uh, I'm good. What's going on? Why were you hanging out with Austin? Dude! He passed us in the hallway and wouldn't let us go. But now he finally escaped. So, you don't like Austin? How many times do I have to say no? Anyways, I have a lot of homework to do. Bye! And stop the recording. You recorded it? Yep, and this is gonna make you win. Nine hours later, 12 a.m. <sighs> Stop! <sighs> Why can't I focus? I can't be in love with him. It's too late anyways. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? I, uh, I think I'm in love with him. That's okay. It's not. I don't have time for him. And besides that, I already screwed everything up. You didn't. He's sleeping at Carter's and Mason's room for the night. Can we go? Of course. I didn't come to be annoying. I came to apologize. I just saw the video, and I get it now. What video? The video where you say you didn't love me. The one that Mason posted. Mason? Why would Mason post that? That didn't work. Time for plan B. We're gonna go. No, Chloe, wait! Who's knocking on the door this late? What are you guys doing here? Well, uh, I wanted to tell Mason something. <laughs> Chloe, stop! Austin, what are you doing here? Telling you the truth about Mason. He's trying to make you fall in love with him. So he wins the $1,000 bet. Mason, is this true? C Chloe, I can explain. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry, I never meant to hurt you i just you didn't hurt me at all because you can't you can't break a broken heart chloe 
Wait, of course, I was devastated that night. But luckily, my best friend was there for me again. I'm lucky to have her. And it turned out that I wasn't the only one that was hurt that night. The next day, Saturday, 9 a.m., Mason's point of view. Hey, Mason, where are you back? Are you leaving? Yeah, I was planning on going home to my mom for the weekend. But first, I'm gonna be needing some help. What do you need help with? Who's that guy that started the bet with Chloe? Because even though I broke her heart, he still owes me a thousand dollars. I actually have no idea who started it. This is more of a Luke question. Well, weirdly enough, it's not a guy from our school. It's this boy named Ethan from another town. I can give you his number so you two can beat up. I can even show him video proof of what happened in the apartment yesterday. That sounds good. What time do you want to meet? Um, like 1 p.m. or something? Sounds good. Hmm, where is he? I'm here. Do you have the money? Right here. I'm not sure if I should give it to you, though. Because I heard he broke her heart, but for real this time. Just give me the money. I will on one condition. You have to make her like me. Or else you won't get the money. Ugh! Listen, dude. I'm gonna take this money from you, and then you're gonna go home like nothing happened. In that way, no one is gonna get hurt. Hey, Mom. How are you doing? The doctor just said that I'm doing great, and that I'm gonna make it. I just need to make a little more money to pay the medical bill. I just paid everything, Mom. <gasps> oh, honey, you didn't have to do that. I... Don't worry, Mom. Everything is gonna be okay. Then maybe it's time for you to get a dorm at your college. Mom, I really don't need one. Of course you do. You've been sleeping at your friend's dorm for too long. It's time to get your own. Just promise to visit me. I will, don't worry. He left with a big smile on his face. And he knew that he had to fix one more thing. Sunday evening at 6 p.m. How can I help you? I just rented a room here. The name is Mason Fox. Hmm, well, here you go, room 132. You'll have a roommate. Okay, thanks for everything. Uh, 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 what are you doing here? I'm your new roommate. No thanks. It wasn't a question. What? Let's stop fighting. I'm tired of it, and we're gonna be roommates. You won't trust me, because we both like the same girl. You still like Chloe? <laughs> That's pathetic, you know. You don't. Get out. You just kick me out of my own dorm. I said get out. You know what? Fine. How was your weekend? It was fine. I just made the decision to rent a dorm room. And now I'm roommates with Austin. Uh, poor you. Now please let me stay here for the evening. That evening, he told his plan to win Chloe back. So I can just walk up to her and then... No, you can't. She'll either slap you or walk away. Seems fair. Six hours later at 12.30 a.m.? Uh, it's literally 6 a.m. I don't want to go back to sleep. Whoa! Uh, thanks. No problem. Why did you save me? The bet is already over. You got your money? You don't have to hang out with me anymore. But you still do. Why? Because I love you, idiot. Um, I really, really do. Uh, uh, <gasps> dude, look outside. One hour and 30 minutes later. And then we kinda like kissed. I'm still waiting for my wedding invite. Avery, seriously? Calm down. So, Mason is the big hero of the day. How much money did he save from that man? I'm actually curious about that too. I, uh, five dollars. I risked my life for five dollars. I was getting a bag of chips. Who on earth buys a bag of chips at 6 a.m. in the morning? Me, I'm weird, okay? And besides that, you saved my favorite purse. Let's just go to our first class. 11.59 a.m. <laughs> Whoa! Austin, what are you doing? I'm not gonna hurt you, don't worry. I just want to tell you something. <laughs> no, just no. You're gonna regret saying that. Help me! Thanks for helping me. No problem. Luckily, you sent me your location. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known where you were. Uh, there you guys are. I've been looking for you two everywhere. And besides that, get a room. We literally did. You came into our room. No, I came into my dorm room. You mean our dorm room? I'm saved by the school bill. Wait, the school bill. Run! Stop right there. Detention for the three of you. Uh, why? Is this dude everywhere we go? He's probably sleeping, so don't wake him up. I'm not sleeping. Uh, 
uh, get away from me. What's Mr. Bad Boy doing here? Okay, well, what is... Uh, 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 what are you doing here? I was late. Now go away. We can't. We're late too. I'm just gonna sit right here on the ground. Five minutes later. Meet me tonight at 10 p.m. I have a surprise for you. Should I do it? Of course I shouldn't. What's wrong with me? But I know Austin. He's not gonna give up. Maybe I should just go. 40 minutes later. Yes, we can go. See you tonight, Chloe. What do you mean, Chloe? <laughs> You're dead! Where is she? <sighs> School is over, so I'm just gonna hide over here. I feel bad for lying to him. 9.45 p.m.? I should go. Mason stepped by. I told him that you weren't home. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. Just be safe. I will. Don't worry. I'm here. It's nice to see you, Chloe. I honestly didn't expect you to show up. So, Chloe, did you tell anyone that we were meeting tonight? Not me, you did. Oh, come on. It was fun to see him mad. Besides that, he doesn't know anything unless you told him. Well, I didn't. I haven't talked to him yet. Good. And I would like you to meet an old friend of mine. Well, hello there, Chloe. <laughs> Hello there, Chloe. Uh, Ethan! I shouldn't have come. Ugh. You're that guy that robbed me. I didn't rob you. You owed me that money. Now leave my girlfriend alone. That is your boyfriend. <laughs> Are you gonna tell her or do I have to do it? She already knows. You know what? About the bit. Oh, yeah, I knew that. But how does Ethan know? Are you gonna tell her or do I have to? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you replace me with this boy. Wait, was that the boy who hurt her? Well, at least he doesn't cheat. Hmm. So Ethan started this whole bet thing, huh? Yep. Well, I'm glad it's over. And that your mom is okay. And I'm glad you're okay now. Uh, can I... Yes, you can sleep here for the night. Thanks, I really don't want to see Austin again today. Wednesday morning? <sighs> Wake up! I'm up. I'm ready to eat. Yum, yum. Hello, Mason. <laughs> Yum! I have to give a tour of the school for this new girl. Cool, what's her name? Uh, it's Sarah. I can't fall in love with her. She will just break my heart, just like Sarah. It can't be her. There are a lot of girls named Sarah. Oh no, I have to be there in five minutes! Bye! Hey, are you Sarah? Um, yeah. My name is Chloe. Nice to meet you, Chloe. Let me show you around the school. Why does she have to be so pretty? And this is the hallway again where we started. Oh, and over there is our first class. Why don't you go? Then I'll go grab my book for my locker. Sounds good. See you later. Well, that was awkward. Ooh, how is the tour? Very weird. Girl acted like I was bothering her the whole time. Where is she? She's coming later. Hey, Sarah. Uh, Mason. Oh, they already know each other? Get off me. Mason, don't be rude. You're embarrassing me. Sarah, go away. No, Mason wants me here with him, right, Mason? No, please no. Hmm. Thanks for protecting me. Shut up. Ten minutes later. Psst. Hey. What? Stay away from Mason. <laughs> What's so funny? The fact that you just walked into him and you're already telling me to stay away from him. Well, I already knew him. I was his ex-girlfriend. The word ex-girlfriend says enough. Whatever. He doesn't even like you, so stop trying. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that laughing is your best comeback just shows how weak you are. And that's what I thought. Stay quiet. Detention for you, Chloe. But sir, she pushed her. How dare you raise your voice at me? Get out of my classroom, both of you. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Don't worry. That stupid girl, Sarah. She told me she was your ex-girlfriend. Is that true? Sadly, yes. We dated three years ago. I was in love with her. She didn't love me. At first, I thought she did. But then I realized she was using me for money and popularity. But every time she asked, I would give her money instead of my mom. Because if I didn't, she would break up with me. A few months later, she broke up with me anyway. She told me that I was annoying in front of the whole school to cause a scene. She was hoping for me to beg for her forgiveness. Instead of that, I just walked away and said, Okay, we're done. Ugh! 
I still loved her after that, but I was proud of what I had done, and it didn't take long to get over her. After that, she started dating some other guy. She always kissed him as soon as she saw me pass in the hallway. Ugh. But as it turned out, Sarah loved him more than he did. So that didn't work out. After that, Sarah had the audacity to ask me to be her girlfriend again. I said no. Of course I said no. So this Sarah girl is really a pain in the back. Yes. Hmm, now can we finally go? Hello? How is the tension? Nothing happened, chill. Explain to me where he knew the Sarah girl from. And? A really annoying ex-girlfriend of his. Well, Sarah's following me. Please help me hide myself. Follow me. I guess this is fine. This is literally the school gym. It's this or the toilet. I'm not gonna eat at a place that smells disgusting. This is fine. Let's just eat. I'm starving. It's not that bad, to be honest. It's pretty quiet in here. Yes, and it's scaring me because I'm not used to it. What are you guys doing? Hiding from that blue-haired girl. Same. Then I should warn you that she'll be here soon. That girl is scaring the daylights out of me. She just won't leave me alone. Don't be jealous. I'm not. Mason, there you are. Go away, Sarah. I wasn't talking to you, pick-me girl. How am I a pick-me girl? You keep hanging out with Mason, hoping you get picked by him. No, that's what you're doing. I already got picked. He's definitely gonna refuse her kiss. Uh, uh, uh. A lot of things happened over the summer. Mason and I hung out a lot. Sarah and Austin started dating. Avery and Carter hung out a lot too. Avery even started getting feelings for him. Now 20 years later, we got married and have two kids 9 and 15 years old. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Carter and Avery got married too. Mason and his mother got better and is now living a healthy life. Austin and Sarah broke up after summer and we haven't heard from them ever since. Ethan got involved in some bad things and is now in jail. Luke is still single. All right, so that was You Can't Break a Broken Heart Part 1, 2, and 3, a gotcha like mini movie by It's Violet Movie. So I will have the original in the description down below. Let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to Come Mermaid or Merman. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.